Greetings and salutations. If you're new to the channel, I want to thank you for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss. I'm a personal trainer, motivational speaker, and modern day performing strongman. If you're unfamiliar with what a modern day performing strongman is, think of the strongmen of old, like the mighty Adam and Alexander Zass, and the kind of things that they would do, but with a modern day twist. An example of the sort of feats of strength that I do as part of a live show might include things like bending steel bars, breaking chains, rolling up frying pans, holding back motorcycles, driving nails through wooden boards by hand, and other feats of strength. Now, being a modern day performing strongman, I know that people have questions for me, and in an effort to generate content for my YouTube channel, by giving you guys what you want, as well as spreading the gospel on strength, I started a YouTube series called Ask Eric Moss, where I would invite you to ask me questions by dropping it in the comments below. And when you do that, I get back to you with your very own custom video. Pretty neat, right? So, this question comes from Manaswaran Devar, who's a frequent commenter on my channel. Thank you for following the channel, Manaswaran, and thank you for the questions. I am happy to answer them. So, he says, Hi, Eric. Hope you are doing great today. Allow me to ask you a question. I am doing great. Thank you. Can a calisthenics-based guy become a performing strongman? Can they develop to produce the force needed in strongman compared to a guy who train with weights? Does high reps or explosive bodyweight movements train our tendons well? Thank you, Chief. Thank you for asking that. Well, when it comes to becoming a modern day performing strongman, before I started performing feats of strength, I was primarily kettlebell and uh, calisthenics based, which I think you probably are as well. And when, so with, when it comes to body weight training, I was actually on the ground floor instructor team for the Strong First Bodyweight Certification, and you can develop an amazing amount of strength when it comes to calisthenics. Possibly more strength than the typical user of weights does, if you do it right. One of the things that Pavel Satsalin had, had mentioned during the certification course is do not try to hold yourself back from using additional loads with the intention of maintaining the purity of calisthenics-based training. So what I mean by that, and when I, what he also means by that, is wh when it comes to the calisthenics stuff, it comes at it from the standpoint that it's not about body weight training, but it's about getting strong with whatever you have available to you. If all you have is body weight to train with, then you train with body weight. If you have kettlebells, train with kettlebells. If you have access to weights, train with weights. You should do whatever it takes to get as strong as possible. Now, if you only have calisthenics available to you, you're in an area where weights are not easy to come by, what I would recommend to supplement your body weight training, because it is restrictive and it's based on leverage and it's based on um, like there's only so many different ways to progress. You would either decrease the leverage or increase the repetitions. So in that case, isometrics would make an amazing supplement to your body weight training. One of the things with body weight is it can be difficult to train pulling movements unless you have um, a pull-up bar to, to work with. So when it comes to isometrics, you can either practice the feats specifically by getting horseshoes and steel bars that are just outside of what you can do. Um, or you can also find that video where I described how I made my homemade ISO chain. That was not expensive to put together. So if you're on a limited budget, that might be an option and the other things might also be an option. Um, with the strong men of old, you know, weights are easy to come by these days. They weren't that easy to come by in the days of like Alexander Zass and the Mighty Adam. The, both the Mighty Adam and Alexander Zass 
made their own weights with like cement blocks, from what I understand. Alexander Zass trained by pulling on tree branches. And the mighty Adam trained specifically with the implements by pushing as hard as he could on immovable objects until his mindset went crazy and he was able to do it. But I hope that answers your question. If you need follow-up or if you, anybody, if you have additional questions or if anybody else has questions, drop it in the comments below and I will try to get back to you with your very own custom video. But in the meantime, please stay happy, healthy, and strong. Eric Moss, over and out.